Hey, 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 everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. It's me, your guy, Sickles, episode number 21. Hey, if I sound different today, please excuse that. I think I'm catching a cold, which is really, really not cool. I feel like I usually catch a cold somewhere in the beginning of the year, though, so I guess this is normal, but... Yeah, not fun. <laughs> Definitely not not very exciting. But welcome back to the world. Today, we do actually have a really exciting episode. The plan is to finally put a door on this building today and finish up the storage building. Maybe by the end of the episode, just maybe, we'll actually be moving things into this room. But I might actually also end up doing that on stream. And that thing, the stream, hasn't happened yet as of the recording of this video. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll just kind of feel things out and see how things are going before we start today's project though we have something to talk about we should probably do a breakdown for a major part of minecraft that we haven't discussed at all quite yet that part of minecraft is of course redstone today we're going to put a fancy three by three redstone door on our storage building to cap things off and make things super super cool now to make a redstone door of course we're going to have to use redstone and redstone again it's not something that we've talked about quite yet so we're going to do a little bit of a redstone breakdown so starting off with the absolute basics on screen right now is a redstone wire or a redstone line it means the same exact thing this line is 15 blocks long now, redstone is something that has been in the game for ages. It's been around for a long, long time. Unfortunately, there are some pretty major differences when it comes to redstone between the two major versions, Bedrock and Java. So some of the stuff that we talk about today might not necessarily apply for you if you play on Bedrock. I play on Java. That's where the series is being made. Now, if you're a redstone type of player, you know all of the crazy possibilities and crazy things that you can actually do with redstone. Redstone has a whole lot of potential. You can make flying machines with this stuff. You can make gigantic clocks. You can make simple clocks. You can make uh, a lot of stuff. There's tons of potential when it comes to redstone. So if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. Now, redstone has two states, unpowered and powered. To power redstone, you'll need a power source. Power sources come in many forms. One of those forms is a lever. Another form is a redstone torch. Maybe another, a redstone block, or even something like a pressure plate. In short, you have a lot of options for power sources. Now, once you power your redstone, you have a redstone signal. That signal can last up to 15 blocks away from the initial power source. So right here, this is the 16th block. I said this was a 15 block line. I lied, it was a 16 block line. And the 16th block is not powered. The signal only goes 15 blocks from the initial power source. But there's a way around that. The way around that uses something that we haven't made at all in this series quite yet. That thing is known as a redstone repeater. Now, as you can predict by the name, a redstone repeater basically repeats a signal. So if we place a repeater down right here, this is basically a new power source. The new signal that begins after the repeater will again travel 15 blocks. Again, on the 16th block, the signal will run out. Now you can continue this forever. You can keep placing repeaters and extend the signal. Yeah, literally forever. You can make it from zero all the way to like a million in your world if that's what you were trying to do. That would be kind of pointless though, so don't waste your time. So repeaters can be used to repeat or extend a redstone signal, but that's not all that they can do. Repeaters can also be used to add a delay to a circuit. Now we're going to talk about delays when we do today's build, so I won't demo it right here, but basically the more distance between the two torches on a repeater, the more delay that you'll have. Repeaters have a maximum of a four tick delay. And that brings us to another thing that we haven't talked about, ticks. Uh, what is a tick? Well, a tick is basically like, I guess the easiest way to say this would be like, I, I guess a second, but that's not really it. But basically a tick is an instant. So currently this repeater has a four tick delay. That means that once the redstone signal reaches the repeater over there, the signal beyond the repeater will be delayed. So uh, take a look at this. Uh, that line turned on later, mm -hmm. turns off after. That's a four tick delay. Oh, but wait, there is definitely more. So take a look at this line. It's powered, right? Now, if we put a block right here, uh, the line on the second half is not powered. But if you use a repeater, you can actually send a signal right through a block, just like that. Now, you can also use a repeater to pull a signal out of a block as well. So this is another tip for extending a redstone line if you're working in maybe like a, like a cramped space or something like that. So uh, that's a repeater. Now, the next redstone component or redstone thing that we'll be using today is a piston. 
To make a piston, we're going to need a bit of wood, we'll need some iron, we'll need some cobblestone, and we'll actually need some redstone as well. And it doesn't... Uh, oh, there it is. There's the piston recipe, just like that. A piston is somewhat expensive to craft early on. Now, a piston is known as a redstone component. A redstone component is basically something that has to do with redstone. There are many redstone components. We're not going to waste time today and go over all of them. We'll go over the components once we actually use them. Uh, so that's a piston. A piston, when powered, will extend. Normal plain old pistons can be used to push and to hold things back. For example, let's say we have a piston right here and then we built up all the way around this thing, powered it, jumped up here and put water inside of there. Right there, not all, oh no, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yep, we'll demo that again. There's water right there, there's a piston, it's holding the water back. Pistons can do things like that and they can push blocks, but they cannot pull. To pull a block, we'll actually need a different kind of piston. And that kind of piston requires slime balls a material that is actually pretty rare we still only have six at the end of the last episode we we're trying to find two more and that didn't happen so today we're just gonna go with six we can do the project but it won't be fully finished but this is a sticky piston sticky pistons can push and pull things they're really really useful for a lot of different contraptions including redstone doors so that gets us to now the build other than the redstone torch uh, this is a redstone torch it's basically a power source you can turn it on and off but yeah this build so today's build is going to require eight sticky pistons two pressure plates one redstone torch about a stack of redstone dust and then uh, five repeaters so let's go ahead and start with our torches we'll need 10 of those then we need to combine those torches with some redstone and some stone to get repeaters there we go now we need more pistons, and to make more pistons, I need more wood, which means, uh, no, we're actually good. There we go. So there we go. There's all of our materials. Again, we still need to turn these into sticky pistons, but it's fine. We can do most of the build without it. So if you're trying to copy today's build, get this stuff and then get some building blocks as well. Now today, I think I'd like to use smooth sandstone because the stuff is so, so clean looking. I love this block. It looks like... Like, pretty much, I don't know, like, the perfect block. This stuff really doesn't have a top or a bottom texture. It just blends in, which is perfect for what I'm trying to achieve today. Today, we're going to build a door that is that shape, and that door will sit right in here. So we're going to have to actually open this up a little bit. Goodbye, A, that I didn't even realize that I built. Um, I swear, oh, there's, there's still an A. Okay. Uh, so anyways, the door. So, our door is going to sit right here. We're going to space this door a few blocks out from the wall to make sure we have enough room for our redstone wiring. The stuff does take up a little bit of space. I definitely don't want to lose any chests inside of the build either, but if I was okay with that, we would put the door right against this build. So, the door is going to sit right there. When making a redstone door, especially for the first time, I always recommend placing your door blocks in first. So that's what we just did. This will be what the door looks like when it's closed. Now we need to figure out where our sticky pistons go. Now your sticky pistons will not go right against the door. If you do that, the sticky piston, when powered, will extend upwards and push this block into where the door is actually uh, not meant to be, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, basically that's the wrong spot. The right spot is down here. So once these sticky pistons get powered, they reach up, grab these blocks, and then can pull the blocks back down. So, three sticky pistons on the bottom for this build, then we'll go ahead and do two over on the sides, so over here, right there and there I think, and then over on this side, pretty much the same deal, right in the middle, but only one on this side this time. Now, unfortunately, we don't have all of the sticky pistons required for the build, so two of these pistons, right there and there, are going to be normal ones for now, because those are the least important pistons on this door. Now, finally, two more sticky pistons above this door to finish things off. The sticky pistons on the top will go right against these two blocks, so right there and there. So, there's our piston placement. Now, we need to get everything wired up. But, before the wiring, let's talk about powering this door. So, to activate this door, I'm thinking we'll use a pressure plate. We'll walk over the pressure plate, the door will open, and then we'll walk in, the door will close behind us automatically. Same deal on the inside. Pressure plate, walk forward, door opens, door closes. So, that means that this is the start of our signal. Now, when laying redstone, I always recommend putting the stuff down on a block that stands out. So, dirt definitely doesn't stand out. If I'm ever doing any kind of renovation in here and I left all of my wiring on dirt, well, I would honestly probably end up digging it up and that would be bad. 
So right here is the start of our signal. When we step on that plate, that is powered because that's how redstone works. Now we actually want to invert our signal. So basically this door is closed all the time and this opens the door, not closes it. That's actually pretty easy to do. We can invert the signal by placing a dust on a block and then a redstone torch on the side of that block. Then after that torch, our redstone line will come out of basically the redstone torch. So starting here, we have a signal that is powered. Now, uh, we can actually move the signal inwards. Go, we'll go right over there instead, and then we need to move it over to these pistons. That's actually pretty easy to do. So, signal will go there, 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 and actually here and over here this time because of how I'm going to do things. These blocks don't actually have any signal on them. So, so far, so good. Very, very cramped, but good. Now, three repeaters right here, there, and there. After those repeaters, we need solid blocks. We can actually use repeaters to power blocks, if you remember that little breakdown. So, once I wire these up, these blocks are going to get powered, but this craziness was happening. Uh, that's because of this weird circuit right here. We just created a circuit. So to stop that, we'll do that, and then we'll go ahead and break the torch and place the torch back down, and everything is good. Those are now closed, and this opens them. That's perfect. Exactly what we want. And... Uh, I didn't think about that. Now I'm trapped. <laughs> We're gonna have to break our way out. So, there we go. The bottom row of pistons is powered and it behaves exactly how we want it to. That's good. That part was pretty easy. But, that was also the easiest part. Now we need to send a signal upwards to all of these other pistons. I think we'll start with this piston over here. Now, to move the signal upwards, we have a few different options. We could just do like a staircase where we go like that and then we keep going up with uh, blocks, but that's going to take up kind of a lot of space and space is not something that I want to waste. So, instead of that, we could do a spiral staircase, but again, that'll kind of take up a bit of space. That'll be a 2x2 two two block area. Instead of a spiral staircase, we can actually use a slab ladder. This right here is a slab ladder, basically slabs alternating between two blocks and redstone wires being placed on top of those slabs. This current will go upwards all the way over to this piston just like that. That is powered perfectly. That's all you actually need to do to power that one. Now, keep in mind that this is not a sticky piston, so this block will not be moved inwards. Kind of a bummer, but eventually we'll fix that by finding more slime balls and making that a sticky piston. So side two, check. Now, we can actually start the other side off in the exact same way. We'll do a block there for our wiring, then a repeater right there, and then a solid block, and then slab ladder number two begins. But this side is actually going to be a little bit different because we do have, well, we have two pistons over here instead of one, but still shouldn't be too bad. So there we go. That's the first piston powered. Now the next one, piston number two for side three powered. Boom, we're good. Now, we just need to move the signal over to this area over here, which is still insanely easy. All we need to do is basically create a few blocks that go up right above these pistons and run a wire on top of them to power them. This whole door is now powered and works almost perfectly. We still need these two slime balls, but that's exactly what I'm going for. Let's take a look. What do we got? Mm. Yeah, that is perfect. That is perfect. I've successfully locked myself inside of the build again, but the door timing is perfect. So now a pressure plate on the inside to power the door so we can actually leave. This pressure plate will sit right here, but we have a problem. That's a staircase. We're going to have to turn that into a solid block. So solid block right there, pressure plate on top of it. Now, instead of doing the same inverted signal and all of that wiring on the side, we can take a massive shortcut. So this all starts the same. We have a pressure plate, then a block, then openness with a redstone dust on it actually, and then another block for our redstone wiring. Now, all we need to do is basically staircase this wire downwards and run it all the way over to the initial starting point of our line. So that should be uh, this block right here. So we can basically, I think, make a staircase and connect up to that wire, this initial dust uh, right in there, this one, and we'll be good. So solid block, and then we have to change these to our wiring blocks. Uh, I need out of this hole <laughs> uh, like that. And because I didn't finish the door, it's not going to work. So we'll just dig out like that. Jump back down over here. There we go. And we need more blocks. 
all right so the wire runs through the underside of this farm now we can just go ahead and staircase this thing all the way up to our starting point so right there but we have that craziness again so we're gonna go ahead and cut that off just like that and we might actually have to replace that torch yep definitely this torch was powered like crazy so there we go now uh we'll put this block back we can go in mm-hmm Mm -hmm. and then we can go out just like that super easy to use now this is ugly this is really really ugly and needs to be fixed how are we gonna fix this honestly no clue at all but if i'm being honest i kind of like the look of redstone so i'm gonna get a picture this might be the thumbnail right here i don't know slime oh slime oh slime have any of you spawned so in between episodes i did a lot of work down here i kept digging and digging and digging and still did not find any slime at all this hallway got it got pretty long now and the cross hallway also got pretty long as well now in between episodes i did load and unload this area so basically i went far away then came back and checked and still nothing for a big slime to spawn it needs a three by three by two and a half block space to spawn and that is definitely met throughout this hallway now slime chunks can be rare but they're usually not too crazy rare and basically we have a bunch of chunks that i've chopped through here and no slime quite yet so kind of waiting on that wanted to update you guys on that part of the project but um yeah just just kind of waiting uh hopefully soon uh the slime spawn but if not mm, i guess we'll just have to wait so i think for this next part we could definitely incorporate our new favorite log type into this build we could do probably acacia wrapping around the side of this door to hide all of this ugliness and then maybe maybe like a turning beam right there and then we go right across on the top again another random turning beam right there so no dirt we don't want to leave the dirt in there we're gonna to have to get more smooth stone for sure but beam goes down all the way around the door so now we have that that definitely looks a whole lot better so if we fill everything in with sandstone then when these two blocks are moved back we'd have a smooth sandstone entrance that would look really really good on the other side we'll do more acacia logs because acacia logs i think actually work pretty well there but i need to farm more i think i've run out like entirely other than these a hey, yikes <laughs> uh but that's a good start definitely now i think it's time to go ahead and bury our wiring we don't really need to see this stuff anymore so goodbye wiring you're very nice though it's beautiful but bye <laughs> now uh these towers so we need to hide these with something uh what thing though hmm good question uh well Mm, they are only one block deep that one's one block right and this one is one block as well so that's good that means we could blend this straight back into this wall or something like that but how do we do that hmm what i'm thinking initially is maybe we have like the wall continue outwards and then we could do uh maybe a section of three three is nice then another beam there and basically have like an arched covered area to enter the build that could look pretty good the only wiring that we might have a little bit of trouble hiding is the wiring up there so what i could do is extend this slab ladder over there all the way up and go over to that piston i could shrink everything down by one block which might be good maybe i kind of like the sounds of that so i think i'm actually going to go ahead and do that this has to go up anyways on both sides it needs to be symmetrical so i don't see why not oh you know what i think i can shrink this all down by two blocks actually because look at this so i did put the dirt back i know mm -hmm. but we can go right there into the side of this piston and we can do the exact same thing on this other side as well but i don't know really where i left my redstone did i yes i did i sometimes i put things away and i don't even remember putting them away is that a bad sign uh oh gosh i hope not um hmm well it's the case it's true but yep there we go that blends in even more and if i'm right i am right we can't see anything from the inside uh, other than this spot but any more logs for that spot so don't worry about it oh man you guys are gonna love it i know it i know it. you're going to be so happy with what i've come up with that you might just maybe start crying right here on site 
Take a look at it. It's beautiful. I know. I am so, so happy with what I've come up with as well. So, I ditched the whole three long wall concept for an open concept. I think maybe I'll come in here and put fences on the side all the way up, or maybe not. I'm not too sure, because openness is nice on a build like this. Now, there's been a major change to our wiring as well. Previously, the slap ladder was on this side of the piston. I realized that if I took out this back beam, I had enough room to put the slab ladder over here against the wall, making this whole door way, way, way more compact. I did the exact same thing on the other side and it works out beautifully. It's, it's perfect. From the inside, we have this wall, pretty plain. I'm thinking about adding maybe like a cross beam here and then doing more chests up there, but also, I don't know. I could just put a big painting there and call it good. That would look nice too, but as it stands right now, that's really plain and boring. We'll figure out something over in here too to make this look a little better, but for now, that's that's kind of fine. But back outside. Now on this build over here, I did an arched roof and then on top, I separated it with orange because there's orange on the build and there wasn't any orange on this part. I've tried to bring each and every color into this part of the build and each and every block if possible. So we've got the stone bricks on the roof, we've got the orange on the roof as well, we've got the logs holding up the roof and then the sandstone as the door. I think that brings everything together nicely. Now over here, I have not finished things up. I wanted to show you guys what I did before I closed it off. What I'm thinking thinking is really the stone bricks can just kind of continue up to there and then after the stone bricks I could either fill everything in with smooth sandstone or I could come back and get this uh like detailed sandstone and I'm thinking that the detailed sandstone like the normal stuff and the chiseled stuff and then the cut sandstone would look much better than the smooth sandstone so we'll go ahead and I think just uh make it random so maybe cut there there that and then this and then maybe we'll finish off with one of those that looks good but this definitely needs to continue and then i should put two sandstone walls right there but uh now uh, that brings me to a major modification of the build so i believe it was my patron jackie hk who pointed out that uh, stairs would look really good here instead of slabs so i'm thinking about going all the way around the side of this build and changing all of these things to upside down staircases this definitely does look a whole lot better if the staircase is upside down mm -hmm, just like that i don't know that blends the whole build together way way more nicely and then maybe just maybe i don't know about this yet but we could go along the top of the staircases with more stone brick slabs to create a solid border block i don't know about that but i know about the upside on staircases and this wall is good too i think what do we think from over here hey that's a little different uh we're gonna need more staircases in there for sure but with the sandstone walls i think that will look good as well now i also covered up the wiring up here with just smooth sandstone it's just right above the pistons and the wiring and everything so that's all hidden now the whole build is really coming together quite nicely i think and i've been taking a step back and looking at the build every once in a while and i think this piece actually fits quite nicely with the whole build like obviously it stands out and i think that's mainly because it's new but as a whole i think it blends in with the build pretty well so i'm pretty happy with it but uh now it's time to make a few minor adjustments to the build and then the thing should actually be done which is kind of amazing like this has been a project that has lasted quite a while now this is three episodes the biggest project of the series and yeah it's about to be done finally super nice i'm excited about it oh and i did change the redstone wiring down here too to prevent the connection from getting cut off when i lower the wall down to there so that was changed as well just so you guys know snap you guys look at that mm, that's beautiful i fixed it uh oh wait <laughs> nope no slime still but i did just go check and yep nothing but the build as a whole is now finally finished from the outside aside from one big thing well actually two two big things the first thing is on top so the dome 
I don't know. I've seen your guys' comments suggesting colored glass on top of this build, and I'm honestly considering it at this point, but the big thing that I'm waiting for is Optifine. Once Optifine 1.15 releases, we'll be able to see the dome in all of its glory with the connected textures, and then I'll know if it should be colored or not. If I am going to color it though, I'm kind of thinking black stained glass. I think that would look really, really good. Uh, the other thing, that's yeah, insanely noticeable. Take a look at the surrounding of this build. It is nothing. Really, really boring and, and bad. So I've got some work to do uh, when it comes to plant life and terraforming and making the surrounding of this build actually look nice. But I think that's going to be a job for another time. We're not going to worry about that today. Eventually, I would like to get some kind of nice garden going all the way around this build and maybe even a few wild bees living around this thing too. That would be a really nice touch. But for now, that's that. Now, there's one other thing that I'd like to address inside of the build. Uh, I've seen a lot of concerns about the lighting in here, and yes, I totally forgot to talk about that. So, for lighting in this build, I'm thinking carpets. Uh, this would be right in the middle of this side, so probably either a three or five block long carpet will go in here and we'll put lighting underneath it. That will provide more than enough lighting for this whole area, uh, if I did that on each and every side. Obviously not just this only side. I'm not too sure how long it'll be, either three blocks or five blocks, not too sure. I'll have to look at it once it's in, but uh, we don't have the right colors. So for now, we could put white carpet in here, and I think that's what we're going to actually do just to keep mobs from spawning inside of this thing, now that it's actually a finished build, but uh, white is not the intended color. Eventually, I'm thinking something cool, like yellow or or orange or maybe even red i think any of the warm colors would match this build really really well because of all of the orange that is used on this build yeah that's the plan for lighting in here but it just won't get finished entirely for a little while we'll probably make a wool farm soon i love having wool farms set up as soon as possible because they're automatic and that's amazing but for now carpet lots of white carpet that'll that'll do but again, seriously, please, please, please remember that this is not the intended final carpet. Uh, I, in my opinion, this white carpet looks pretty terrible in here, so... Yep, uh, just know that it's really, I promise, not going to stay here very long, uh, just until we have a wool farm going in the world, but that'll cut it for the lighting, I think, other than this center spot, so maybe a lantern right there, then that will cut it for lighting everywhere except the door as well, so maybe lantern here and here for decoration as well, mm-hmm, everywhere else is perfect, so three lanterns coming up boom perfect that is good so now we have just this final area to figure something out with maybe even a spruce arch could be cool in here too but i think we're gonna call it there for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed this one i actually had a lot of fun making this episode i don't know what it is about episodes like this but like i don't know i really really enjoy making them oh 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 one more thing sorry i'm thinking about lowering the ground out here too and if i do i'll just put a slab over that because i think the ground should probably be lowered one more i did lower the sill quite a bit but I don't know. I think this all needs to be lowered to get the full effect. So, yeah, that's something that you should know about as well. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Smash like, smash subscribe, smash the description button for all of my links. Drop a follow on my Twitter. You'll know about what I'm doing if you do that. And I promise you, you won't regret it. I, I tweet a lot, but in a good way. Today, I'd like to send a shout out to my patron, OG's Peace. Thank you very much for the support. And again, thank you all for watching. My name is Waddles. I'll see you all in the next one. Until next time, stay cool, everybody. I'll see you next time.